What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix low FPS and overall low performance issues when gaming on Windows 11. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First, in your start menu search, type REG edit. Right click the registry editor icon and select run as administrator. A new window will open up. Here, I suggest backing up your current registry, in case you make a mistake during this tutorial. To do this, navigate to File and then Export. In your File Explorer, select a location where you want to save your backup to and click on Save. When this is done, navigate back to your registry editor and expand HKEY CURRENT USER SYSTEM and then select Game Config Store. On the right hand side of this window, double click Game DVR Enabled. Change the value data to 0. Leave the base at hexadecimal and click on OK. When this is done, double click the Game DVR FSE Behavior Mode and set this value to 2. Next, on the same registry editor window, navigate to H key current user, software, Microsoft, policy manager, default, application management, and here click on the allow game DVR folder. On the right hand side, double click value and make sure to set the value data to zero. You can now close this window and you should experience much more FPS and less stuttering while in-game. Next, I suggest following some common ways to improve your performance while gaming on Windows 11. In your Start menu, search for Device Manager and open it up. On this window, you can expand your audio inputs and outputs, network adapter, USB connections and so on. For each category, Make sure that your main device's driver is up to date. Simply double click the device you are using, in this case my headphones, and in the driver tab select update driver and then search automatically for drivers. This will make sure that your device's driver is up to date. For your graphics card, I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an Nvidia GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. Repeat this step at least a few times a year to make sure that you get the most out of your hardware. In the Home tab, you can access individual game settings, which can also be changed from here. Simply select Details for the game you intend to play. You will be presented with current in-game settings and with the optimal settings suggestion depending on your hardware. When selecting Optimize, GeForce Experience will apply the recommended settings to the game. You also have the option to use custom settings when selecting this wrench icon. Here, use this slider system to reduce some options and change your display resolution and display mode from here, in case you're using an abnormal screen resolution as I am. Next. Open up your task manager by searching for it in your start menu. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other programs, I suggest you end some programs from running in the background, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only end programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. In the startup tab, you can additionally prevent programs from starting up on system boot. In your task manager, in the performance tab, Select Open Resource Monitor. In the Network tab, open the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam or a download bottlenecking your connection. These processes will help you find out where network related issues are coming from. And you can easily stop some processes from running if you wish to do so. Before improving your network connection, 
You should disable overlays from other applications, as these commonly cause issues while in-game and reduce your performance. Most applications have built-in settings to prevent an overlay from showing up. In your GeForce Experience application, navigate to your settings and in the General tab, you can disable the overlay. To improve your network connection while in-game, make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. In case you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while. To test your connection, I suggest using speedtest.net. Here, you can preview your average up and download speed, as well as your latency. You can also throttle the download speed of most applications, such as Steam, Epic Games and the Adobe Creative Cloud. In your application settings, such as Steam, navigate to the Downloads tab. Here, enable the Limit Bandwidth 2 option to what you want to prefer. In my case, I will set this option to 8000 KB per second. Lastly, make sure to delete your temporary files to free up your storage. Search for Percentage Temp Percentage in your Start menu search to open up your Temporary Files folder. Files in this folder are saved by your programs and should be deleted from time to time. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.